Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So today I've got a very exciting announcement to make and that's that I'm going to be at TruffleCon on August 2nd through 4th. All right, and so I've actually got Scott here from Truffle to talk about TruffleCon and all the exciting stuff that's going to be happening, you know, what you can expect at TruffleCon, how you can sign up, and we're going to have a special offer for you all. So stick around for the rest of this video. So welcome to the channel, Scott. Thanks for having me, Greg. Excited to be here. Awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you could join today. Um, so really high level. Let's, just, let's uh, kind of get into this. So what is TruffleCon? What is it all about? Yeah, Truffle. TruffleCon, we, we launched our first conference last year. It was hosted in Portland, Oregon, and we had a great turnout. Um, it was just a dev focus uh, where we had the community come out, and we had good sponsors, um, companies come out to basically uh, evangelize what's going on in the marketplace with blockchain. Um, it's such a, an innovative tech, um, and it's very exciting, and so it's nice to see what everyone else is doing out there, um, all the innovations and implementations that were going forth, and we decided... Uh, because of such of the, the great feedback we got, uh, let's do this again. Um, and Microsoft was uh, happy enough to host it, or at, allow us to host it, I should say, um, at their campuses. So we're really stoked about that. Um, so we should have close to 750, um, up to 1,000 folks there. Um, and it's, like I said, it's all dev-focused. And we wanted to make this uh, community first. That's kind of been our alma motto is, is you know, uplift the, the skills in the community for not just the Truffle users, but people that are interested in blockchain. Because uh, I'm a little biased, but I do believe blockchain is going to uh, take over the, the, the world, decentralized anyways, and uh, it's exciting. And um, so we wanted to kind of create this format to where we'll have, you know, workshops um, that we're going to be taught by some of our Truffle developers um, and our leads out here. We're really excited about that. And we got some great speakers, uh, Joseph Lubin, co-founder of Ethereum. Uh, we got Kaleido, MetaMask, and Fira, a lot of those guys and gals that will be attending to speak. So you're going to have a huge community of well-respected blockchain people, and uh, we're excited about it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very excited. And if yeah. anybody, you know, who watched this video has been watching my channel for a while or has done any of my tutorials, you know, where we build anything with smart contracts, I've used a lot of Truffle tools almost exclusively on this channel. And so if you've done any of those tutorials, you know, Truffle is basically what I've been using. Um, and you know, I've got the Truffle hoodie on today and I was excited yeah. when, uh, you know, Scott, and I've been talking for a while and I was excited to uh, get the invitation to come to TruffleCon and, uh, you know, set aside a time to actually talk to everybody. So I'm really, really excited about this. Um, so, you know, you, you mentioned that there are going to be some of the big names in the blockchain and Ethereum ecosystem, um, you know, at the conference, you know, what, what else can people expect? You know, um, yeah. what, what are some benefits that they could get from coming to TruffleCon? So one of the things that we're, it's really important to us is that though Ethereum is going to be, you know, our bread and butter is where you can do a lot of our development and, and tooling using our tools is we wanted to be more chain agnostic. We actually announced that last year with some of the new um, chains and ledgers that we're going to be uh, integrating with. Um, and we'll have a couple more announcements this year, but uh, Truffle's goal is to be the, the Truffle blockchain tool uh, for all the blockchain, not just Ethereum. So you're going to see, um, a lot of other, um, you know, blockchains and conversations going around um, what we're going to be doing with it. Just really kind of seeing the ecosystem come together uh, because there's there's private consortium, public. And so we want to be able to, to allow developers to see how they can develop on different types of, of blockchains, not just on public. Um, you know, and that's one of the things that I think with, you know, you hear about interoperability, um, you know, that's, I think it's uh, awesome. And I'm a big fan of that. And uh, we at Truffle are, we want it to become chain agnostic. And you're going to see a lot of that uh, go down at TruffleCon. We'll be able to communicate what's going on uh, in the marketplace. And it's great for a developer, you know, you, just like in Web2 development, you know, you don't want to just be privy to, let's say, iOS developing. Um, you know, there's Android, Windows, there's lots of other platforms. And we feel like that's going to be, um, very incumbent, not just in the dev community, but for us as developers who make tools uh, to allow for other options. We don't want to just specifically focus on one. And so to make you a well-rounded blockchain developer is certainly very important to us. And so you're going to get a lot of that um, at the, the conference. Another cool thing I'm really excited about is our burner wallet. Um, we're going to actually be putting that in uh, the conference for you to make purchases by swag, things like that. Um, I got a chance to recently partake 
burner wallet and uh, had a, a lot of fun with it. I think it's an awesome end user uh, feature for blockchain and uh, we're super stoked about that. Yeah, very cool. Awesome. So, you know, I, I talked to a lot of people about this and talk this on my channel some, you know, when people are getting into blockchain as developers, whether they're an experienced developer already, or they're, you know, a brand new developer just trying to get started. You know, I, I talk about how important it is to go to meetups and go to conferences, you know, get out there and you don't always have resources available in maybe your hometown. If you live in an area that doesn't have a lot of blockchain developers, um, you might, or, you know, there's, there's, I just try to emphasize that you try to, you know, um, use all the resources available to you. And I think right. this is a really great resource for someone who's trying to get into blockchain. There's so many benefits you get from going to a conference like this and you get to learn. Yeah. That's a huge benefit from all these speakers. You get to interact with some of the biggest names right now in blockchain of the people you mentioned earlier. And yeah. you also get to, you know, find out about how you can break in and how you can get work. There's all kinds of opportunities that pop up when you go to stuff like yeah, it's, it's really good to be there in person. I mean, oftentimes, and we've actually uh, hired um, using that method. I know social media is great, uh, but at the end of the day, there's nothing better to with face-to-face -face interaction. And uh, you're going to be, one thing that we, I love specifically, me uh, kind of being in charge of hiring for Truffle and then externally is just, you know, allowing developers to understand that even though, you, let's say you're jumping right into the space, and uh, you dabble it around, made some of your own dApps and whatnot. It, it doesn't necessarily negate you from even getting an interview uh, with a company utilizing blockchain, uh, right. as opposed to let's say you know you're learning Python for the first time and you go through some you know online course for three weeks. It's going to be a little bit more challenging to become a Python dev um, because it's been around. Um, but with blockchain, I know you and I have talked about this in the past. It's it's moving so fast. Um, even for us, you know, we're trying to you know continue to trend and keep up with it. So just because you have three to six months of experience in this, that actually uh, makes you right as a qualified candidate. Um, no different than somebody who has maybe 10 years of Python development experience, back to that example. So right. you, you are, you're right there with us. Um, so it's incumbent on, on you to, if you're really wanting to jump into space, uh, to come to something like this and to, you know, obviously being a part of, of Dapp University is great. I'm a big fan of what you do. I think that's just how we can uplift skills to take uh, what, what we'd like to say web two to web three um, right to, to make them uh, well-rounded so yeah definitely yeah yeah very cool that's that's awesome and I think you're spot on with that I think some people would be surprised how I mean, relatively speaking, low the barrier of entry can be into blockchain. I mean, compared to other things like you mentioned, right? You need you need some knowledge. You need to right. have some competency. Um, but like you said, the the supply of people who know how to do anything in blockchain is so low compared to. The, for the demand of people that need someone to be competent in anything in blockchain, right. um, that the opportunities are very different compared to other fields of, of engineering. Um, I think that's, you know, I think that's spot on. The, and you're even uh, seeing a lot more, not just, uh, I, I just realized you brought up a good point. It's not just uh, um, the adoption with, you would think, a lot of people think with blockchain, I think of you know, Truffle, is, is it all just startups that are doing this kind of stuff? Mm -hmm. And the answer is no. Getting a lot of enterprises that are jumping into this game. I don't know if you recently saw um, with the big announcement with Microsoft Azure Blockchain. Yeah, um, very cool. Us, yeah, we're excited about that. So it's just cool to see big enterprises like that um, really start to showcase what's going on um, and all their blockchain endeavors and what they're doing. So it's more use cases we're starting to see with these enterprises, the better, and, and ultimately will lead to global adoption. So, um, super yeah, exciting. I think there's so many good signs of this, you know, all ships kind of rising when more people kind of get into the game. Yeah. That's really, that's really awesome. And, you know, it, it's funny going back to that whole idea of like, um, you know, getting in, uh, where the, while the barrier of entry is lower, you know, that you see, you see signs like this also where you know, people getting in the game, it sort of creates this incentive to get in. And if, if both of those things are true, you know, I had a guy on my channel the other day who, he basically just took a tutorial that I did and adapted it for his own use case and then got a job and showed the hiring oh, nice. manager and he just got hired. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? I mean, I wish yeah. hiring was always like this, but uh, yeah. I'd say yeah. jump in the waters now. Before yeah, totally. Done. I mean, your mileage may vary, of course, but I mean, there, there's yeah. definitely testimonials like this where people are, you know, kind of just going in and, and just trying something and see what happens. And that's what I always tell people, you know, when you're trying to get a job, um, you know, don't just apply to one place. <laughs> Yeah, network, network, yeah. network, network. I mean, yeah. blockchain yeah. Is, is an ecosystem and we are all decentralized in a way and we like to help each other out. And, you know, conferences are great to do that, but it's also good to do that, uh, you know, through you know, meetups and user forums and whatnot. Just get your name out there. I mean, let people know how excited you are um, about blockchain. I would say, you know, what attracts us to, to folks is those who, you know, kind of explain about the use cases, new ways of utilizing blockchain, the technology itself. Um, not so much tied to the crypto side of it, but uh, the actual tech and, and what the platform could uh, enable for you know great use cases. And we love hearing about that because um, that just gives us new ideas. It gives other companies new ideas to how they can integrate and implement this. And um, it's it's an exciting time to be in this uh, this space. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, very cool. I'm with you 100. percent All right, so let's get into all the details about the conference, uh, all the you know all the fine print that people need to know if they want to join. So it's August second uh, through fourth. Yep, yep. August second through fourth. It's this year. Um, <laughs> All right, really quickly, uh, before we move on, I want to make a quick announcement because Scott just sent me an email uh, after I got off the call. And I want to let you know that uh, there's some really exciting news from the Truffle team, all right? Because of the overwhelming support of Truffle sponsors, the prices are going to go down at the conference, okay? So the TruffleCon ticket price is now only $99, all right? So Truffle really wants to make blockchain uh, more accessible and affordable, right? And they want to be the linchpin that does that. So that's one of the reasons they really fought to get this ticket price down to $99, all right? So you want to take advantage of that special ticket price uh, with the link down below. <laughs> um, I don't know if you are, you, are they able to see my screen? Yeah, I can see um, just fine. Yeah, so we, we got a couple of good sponsors. As you can see, Microsoft, obviously. We got RSK, MythX, Exony, Quorum, uh, Provable Security Innovation, Trillabits, and plenty more um, jumping on that sponsorship list. We got a lot of good companies that will be there. Um, this is a photo of last year with Joe Lubin and, and Tim Coulter, our CEO. Um, so here's some of our speakers. Obviously, Tim's going to be there to, to really kick it off. Um, we're excited to kind of hear his vision on what's to come with Truffle, including some of the new features about Truffle Teams, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, Josh Quintal um, with our head of product and marketing. We've got Mike Sees, who's, who's running a lot of the Truffle Teams. Um, Nick, uh, which was one of my favorite guys, so he'll be able to be speak on some pretty cool things. Um, you'll see a lot more of this if you go check out this website. Um, Kevin Bluer, who we have for Truffle University, and then we've got plenty of more speakers, as you'll be able to see. Yeah, um, that cool. are going to be there. Everyone's excited. Um, and I think it's, you know, we're all coming together. This isn't one thing that I, I constantly remind folks about this particular conference as opposed to what I've grown up with when I go to tech conferences. It's not going to be salesy. Um, we're not going to have a lot of people pitching their product and ideas and wanting to buy. Um, that tends to turn me off. And I know um, it does for a lot of others. This is definitely community focus. Um, we're doing this for the devs because, uh, you know, this is how we're going to scale and, and grow. Um, in this particular ecosystem of blockchain. Yeah, very cool. Awesome. So if people want to sign up for the conference, how do they do that? Yep, I'm going to actually give you a link for a special uh, price discounted code. Uh, awesome. It will end June 30th to jump on that. It will be exclusive. Um, so follow up with uh, Greg. He'll send that off to all of you guys and gals after this. Um, but yeah, he'll send you to the Invent, Eventbrite page where you can sign up there. Um, you'll get your ticket. And like I said, it's hosted at Microsoft here in Redmond, Washington. Uh, we will also have a bunch of things that you can do out here in the Seattle marketplace. Um, you know, I grew up in Seattle, so there's a lot of fun stuff. It is a huge tech hub over here. Um, so we get a lot of, uh, a lot of tech dev focused people that will move here. So you'll, you'll meet a lot of cool folks um, if you come to check out Seattle. Um, but yeah, second through the fourth, you'll be here at Redmond and we will give you the Eventbrite link to sign up for. Yeah, very cool. Awesome. 
So those are all the details, guys. I hope to see you at TruffleCon. Um, uh, really quickly, before we wrap up here, you you said you were going to take a, make a quick mention of uh, the Truffle Teams. What's that? Yeah, yeah. So uh, check out Truffle Teams. It's on our trufflesuite.com. Um, it's in beta right now. We would love everyone's feedback on that. It's a zero configuration, or we call it zero config CI uh, that we're building out. It's kind of a UI monitoring dashboard for smart contract analytics. Uh, I think cool. it's important to know what's going on with smart contracts. And so we wanted to be able to create something like that to, to view, uh, just like you would have a Travis CI and modern web two. We decided to take that and, and make it blockchain esque. Awesome. Um, going well. So check out the beta, test it out. We would love your feedback. Um, things that you would think you would want to add. Um, you know, this is a living roadmap. So we want to make sure that we, we collect as much data and user feedback as we can. So check it out if you can. Really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, very cool. Awesome. I'm excited to go check out Truffle Teams myself. All right, guys. Yeah, um, I, yeah I really enjoyed our chat today. I'm super excited about TruffleCon 2019. Again, I'm going to be there. Scott's going to be there. The whole crew is going to be there. Um, so check out the link. I'll put that down in the description below so that you can sign up at a special price. All right. So right. again, thanks so much for uh, coming on the channel today. Uh, before we wrap up, anything else? No, we're excited to see you there, Greg. I'll be excited to uh, hear what you have to speak on. I don't know if you've uh, come up with your topic quite yet, but I'm looking forward to what you have to say. So yeah, you can come out and see Greg too. It's yeah, great. that's right. That's right. Awesome. Well, very cool. Well, guys, hope to see you at TruffleCon. Again, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the like button down below. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.